Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to record Selenium tests or how to create recorded scripts that we can use in our Selenium tests. So let's get started and please note that recording is something that you can see or use as a helping hand while creating your Selenium automation scripts. So for example, you can record your scripts and then you can use the locators or you can use the actions from these recorded scripts and use in your framework according to your needs, according to your requirements and according to the structure of your framework. So always look at recording as a helping hand. And now to use recording, let me go to my Chrome browser and there are multiple ways of recording and we have looked at Selenium Builder separately. So there is a complete playlist on Selenium Builder if you want to use that but today we are going to use another more efficient tool which is Catalon Recorder. So if you go to your Chrome or Firefox this is a plugin available for both Chrome and Firefox. So I will go to my apps here and I will go to the web store in Chrome and here I will search for Catalon Recorder and search for this particular plugin and you will get this Catalon Recorder and add to Chrome and add extension and as soon as it is added you will see this icon here so you can see this is recorded here so Catalon Recorder is a plugin or a tool from Catalon Studio and now once this is added to your Chrome or Firefox you can start using it so let me say I will show you a demo I will go to this orange HRM website and then I will do a login and record those sections. So the first thing you have to do is click on this Catalon recorder here. So it will open this window and here you have these buttons that I will explain you what you can do with this. You will go to new and you can give any name. So I will say this is test one and say OK. And here it is. And now you will hit on the record button and here you can go back to your Chrome browser and start doing your actions and everything will be recorded. So I'm going to this particular website and here I will give a username and you can see the pop-ups coming from Catalon Recorder. So it is recording whatever I, actions I'm doing. I will provide the password and hit on the login button. And here I will just go to this drop down and hit log out. And I will go back to my Catalon Recorder window and I will hit save or stop. So now I have stopped it and you can see all these actions and all these commands are recorded. Now the good thing here is in this uh, Catalon recorder window in the recorded steps, you can actually go to any step and then you can also see the details here. So the command, the target and the value and also it records multiple locators. So it is using ID, but it has also recorded name uh, attribute. It has recorded this X paths, multiple X paths and other CSS as well. So actually you can use any of these and check if your um, Selenium is able to identify your objects with these and then you can use them in your scripts. Also, if you hit this find and highlight button, it will highlight that particular object on the screen. So if I click here, you can see this is highlighted here and here you can also select a target. Suppose you want to create a new command and then use some particular object. You can click this button and then you can hover over any of the object and then you can use them in your scripts. Okay. And then you can also see you have logs, screenshots, variables, data driven and m many more things. But as of now, we are concentrating only on getting the recorded scripts. So now it is recorded. So first I will try to play this so you can see I will play this here and let me also divide my screen or split my screen so that you can see the actions. Okay, so here I will click on play and you can see this is playing here. So it goes logins and comes out. So I will do this again. It was very fast. So it enters username password and logs in and logs out. So this is how it does it and you can also see all the logs here now I have to export it so you can see the export button here and I will click here and here you will see so many formats so this is a Catalon Studio and then you have C Sharp, C Sharp with NUnit MS Test, Java with WebDriver TestNG, WebDriver JUnit and in fact Ruby, Robot Framework, Python and so many XML as well 
so we are interested now in Java WebDriver plus TestNG so you can hit it click this and you will get the entire code here okay so you can copy it from here or you can also copy to clipboard with this option button here or you can also save as file so I will save as file and I will just save it on my desktop I will say this is test1.java I will save it and you can see it has come here test1.java now I will just add it to my framework I will copy it from here go to my Eclipse and inside my uh, SRC test Java inside my demo I will just paste it so I will go and paste it and you can see it has come here of course I have to update the package name which is demo and that's it and you can see how effective it is there are no errors and everything is there you can see it is a test ng test we have before class method here which sets up the browser then we have the actual test where we are doing all these actions and from here you can get the locators and the actions and use them in your scripts we have this teardown we have some more functions which are not used but it is good for information like is element present you can use this function is alert present close alert and get its text and so many other functions you can use it and now to run this I have to provide the location for my driver exe so in this case it is uh, they have given with Firefox I can also make it as Chrome so I will say Chrome driver and take it from org open QA and I have to give the location of my Chrome driver exe so that is located here inside my drivers folder I have Chrome driver exe here and to get it I already have one earlier code and I will use that so here I am just getting the location of my project with this statement and this all we have discussed earlier so I am not going into so many details here and that's it and then this is the code to get the to set the webdriver.chrome driver property and I will use that here okay and I will ident the entire code so I am just getting the location of my chrome driver exe and setting it to webdriver.chrome driver and I am just using chrome driver for running this test and I will say right click and because it is test ng I will have the option of test ng test I will use this and let us see what happens it opens the chrome driver goes to the URL logs in logs out and we are done everything is passed and now you can see we have got our all the scripts recorded and we can use them into our framework so that is how you can do very quick recording and this will be very helpful you can do some hands-on and let me know your experiences and in case you face any issues do let me know and I will try to help you I will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching